Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4. Someone asked me, H.G. Bailey, could you show one of the cabinets at the inn here at Nalia? So, okay, let's check it out. What do we got? Oh, that's it? Oh, ha! <laughs> yeah, I had a Game Gear back in the day. Didn't have too many games for it. There weren't a whole lot of RPGs, but, you well, know, some of them were good. Now, you can go to that wreckage there to the north, but I want to head to Ido first because they have some equipment that I can buy there that'll help out with that. Oh, yeah, and there's a little cave up there. That's where you need to go to progress with the plot, but I don't... Well, I'm not going to go there right now, so... Oh, well, yeah, you got water and everything around here. Oh, maybe he just meant that figuratively, not literally. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay, yeah, this guy just does the same stuff. Hey, okay, how's it going? Now, this town is actually really big, so it's going to take a while to get through all this stuff. Oh, thanks. Oh, maybe. A what? What does that even mean? I, I, I don't know what was going on there. I don't think I want to know. Yeah, you, you, your house falls apart, you go to the next town, buy a new house. People doubted me, my words of wisdom. Well, worked out for this guy, didn't it? Ha ha. Oh, that guy's back, huh. Oh, really? Actually, there's a whole lot more than just two, but there's... Well, I suppose there are two shops, but they have a whole bunch of merchants selling various quality of gear. Why Alice and Chaz didn't bother getting all of that, I don't know. Like, at the beginning of the game. What's the problem? Oh. Yeah, we got shops everywhere around here. Oh, well, good luck with that. Wasn't someone back at Nalia saying something about their husband going here to sell some stuff and hadn't come back yet? I thought there was someone there. It might have been some other NPC. I don't know. Wait, what were you saying about the hunter skill? Ah, okay. But yeah, like the lady was saying, you want to go to the shops at the Hunter's Guild because the shops here, they don't have anything better than what we've already got. I don't think. Oh, well, maybe you should lighten your load then. I don't know. The devil made me do it. Oh, um, yeah, I suppose. Not really much of a big spender, I'll be honest with you, dears. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, you don't like shopping? Well, yeah, they got a whole bunch of shops here with merchants, but... Yeah, most of it's not even useful. Well, they do have some item shops here that sell some stuff if you wanted to. Oh! What's going on? Oh, well, I could use rest, but do not rest at the inn here. In fact, you should probably never need to rest or pay for an inn for the rest of the game. Or most of it, anyway. Oh. That's... Oh. Well, sure, you can, you can admit it. That doesn't sound like a very good idea. Well, anyway, remember those two for later, viewers. Like, much later. But anyway, okay, there's nothing we want to do there, so let's keep taking a look around. Maybe someone knows something about Zio around here. Oh. oh I thought there was someone who, over there, or Nalia, I think it was, who was saying something about that. 
Maybe that was them these guys are referring to. I like how they kind of connect a lot of the NPCs and the, instead of just having them all disjointed from each other and the plot. But it is dangerous outside, so I suppose those two would have a hard time getting a message over there, huh? Ah. Oh. Well, someone's got to kill the monsters. Well, just do the best you can, I guess. Ah. Oh. Okay. I don't know what they're doing. Playing tag or something? I don't know. Laser tag! Oh. Well, yeah, you gotta have military or something. Well, at least they're doing a pretty good job so far. Oh, well, you're welcome. Sure, why not? Not every cook in a JRPG has to be terrible. It does, it does seem kind of weird that there's a trope in so many JRPGs that someone is a terrible cook, but everyone keeps eating their food anyway. Hmm? What are you talking about? Your secret savvy? Secret seashell? Secret stardust? Secret treasure! Ah! Well, your, your door was kind of wide open. There was nothing for me to walk or knock on. Whoops. Okay, but anyway, if you go over here, if you recall, at the beginning of the game, this was the house where we started the game. At least, very briefly. So, anytime you go in here, you can rest up for free. It restores all your HP and TP there. So, that'll really help us out. Oh, yeah, there was one thing someone wanted me to show off here, I think. Al what? What's in the cabinet? Don't answer that, viewers. It is? Ah. Okay. Never mind, then. What do you got in your room here, Chess? Oh yeah, if you examine cabinets in other people's houses, he usually says it's not nice to open cabinets in, well, other people's houses. Huh? Well, gotta keep a good supply of all that stuff. Well, it seems like it did you a lot of good. Okay, well, let's see. That's, yeah, that's everything we can do here. Let's continue onward. Oh yeah, there was one thing I wanted to show in one of these houses. I forget which one it is. It might have been this one. Oh yeah, there it is. That bookshelf clearly doesn't seem empty to me. M maybe he just meant it figuratively, like bereft of useful knowledge or something. I don't know. Well, everyone, well, it seems to have caught on. Everyone seems to know you for that. Huh? Oh, yeah, you haven't paid your dues lately, Han. But anyway, okay, these are the shops that I am really looking for. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, most of the stuff they sell there is crap anyway. But I do want to buy some new weapons, so let's see what we can do. First things first, let's get rid of all this extra stuff after going through... Well, there was Birth Valley, but there was, uh... Yeah, the bio plant. There it is. But anyway, I do want to hold on to the carbon shield for later. So, let's see. I want to buy two saber claws for Rika there. That'll help her out quite a bit. And there's actually quite a few things that I want to buy here. But we're just not going to have the money for it. So, I'm going to do some things to help out with that. Eventually. Let's see. How close are we to... Well, getting what I want. Well, at least we get decent money for the two claws. Hmm, 
yeah, I'm gonna be a pretty short of what I need. That's okay. We'll be fine. Oh. Yeah, I suppose so. Fortunately, we're all pretty good here. Oh yeah, I might as well, uh... Mention what else would be useful to buy here. Let's see. Okay, we got the Struggle Axe. That's a little better for Grizz there, but it's just too expensive for me to afford right now. So, I'm just going to stick with what I got. Let's see. At the Armor Shop... Let's see. Getting a Ceramic Mail would be really nice, especially for Rika, because she has very little HP, but... You know, I don't have the money for that right now. Maybe I will a little later. Let's see. I would also like to get ceramic mails for Grizz, Alice, and Chaz there. But we're going to find one coming up in a chest. So don't buy four of them. But yeah, three of them should be pretty good. And let's see. Ceramic helms. I want to get two of those eventually. But yeah, I just don't have the money for all this stuff. So we're going to find another way of making money very shortly. I didn't bump into you. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Well, everyone seems to like you around here. But anyway, this is the guild. Where all the hunters congregate, and there's various jobs and stuff to do here. No, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. How hard could he possibly be? Oh, well, everything here seems to be doing well. Um, yeah, we've heard about that. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. Oop. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. I was wondering how we were supposed to know where to go next. I guess this guy tells us. Oh, okay, he doesn't. But that is where we need to go. Just take my word for it. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I guess we're already members of the guild, huh? Do you guys take, like, a percentage or something of the fee for these jobs, I guess? But anyway, well, we got a new... Well, we got these eight jobs throughout the game, so as you progress through the game, more jobs will become available. And these are basically very small side quests. You either kill something, or find something, or buy something, whatever, and then you do the job, and you complete it, and then you come back here, and they give you the money. But for some reason, we didn't get paid for that first job back at the academy. I mean, besides Han, but anyway. Woo! Five grand. Totally. How hard could a sandworm possibly be? <laughs> I would not recommend taking it on immediately. I will do that eventually. In fact, not too far from now. But I would like to do some other things first before heading over there. Fortunately, the sandworms in this game are not nearly as powerful as Final Fantasy IV DS! Oh, yeah, I suppose. Oh, huh. Okay, I guess that's how you're supposed to know where to go. Okay, well, there you are. I knew there was something going on. Wasn't there? Oh, I was like, where'd the NPC go? It just disappeared. Okay, so they have furries in the Fantasy Star Universe. That's not unusual. Not surprising, either. The usual what? Oh. Okay, never mind, then. Well, let's see what we got around here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I didn't really mean to talk to that guy. Have I heard that song before? I think it sounds 
sounds like the title screen music in the first game. Like a remix or something. Uh, kind of hard for me to pin it down. Oh, good for you. Is this your old career, Alice? Oh, um, yeah, kicking names. Or er, kicking ass, taking names, and chewing bubblegum. Unless we're out. And then we just kill more. Well, yeah, they're dead. We'll do the best we can, though. Hey, how's it going? Well, there's only one. Ah, oh, okay. Never mind, then. But before heading out of here, let's go through a secret passage. Ha-ha! We get a little treasure while we're here. Yeah, I found this one out by pure accident. I just was walking. Let me see. Okay, so you go out here, and I just kept on holding left because I got distracted or something, and I was like, whoa, how did I get in here? That'll help us out with some of our equipment purchases, but I still don't have enough in order to buy a ceramic mail. Yeah, yeah, we're still well short, even if I sold the armor she had. So, I might farm a little money to buy that. I'll think about it. I had the money in my last test run, but... I, well, not this time, evidently. The encounter rate's been taking it pretty easy on me. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, how's it going? Well, how hard could it possibly be? You've got three jail cells in the whole place. Hey, how's it going? Ha uh ha. -huh. Loser. Let's see, I think there's some houses down here that I haven't checked out yet. I'll go for a little extra length on this video since we mostly just have plot progression and stuff today. Oh yeah, I was already there. So we have our own private club with table dancers and booze. Whoa. What's going on with those two? I wonder what would happen if I tried talking to that tile, if they were both on the same tile. Come on. Get on the same tile. Do it. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, they were talking about that. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, I guess the... The guy was the one who was talking to us there. Kind of reminds me of the time I got a piece of power. Piece of power! And, uh, what was the other thing? A guardian acorn at the same time in Link's Awakening. I have never seen that other than that one time. Ah, uh, the things that happen when you're recording video games. Oh. Well, darn, I guess. Too bad. Hey, how's it going? Huh? What's up? Oh. Well, that would explain it. Yeah, there's that guy on the west side of town who's complaining about his money being stolen or something. Secret savings. Got. Hmm? Don't what? Don't what? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Eh, I wouldn't worry about her premonition. It's probably just... She's probably just paranoid. Oh. Yeah, I didn't see any dogs around here. Well, he's not around here. Maybe the monster's got him. 
Well, it's a good thing you got those walls surrounding the city and all that. Why not? Well, remember these guys for later, viewers. But anyway, okay, there's one more place that I want to go to, and it's all the way on the outskirts of town. Oh, I forgot about this one. Okay, let's go. What do you mean? We already have a house. Huh? Sounds like a plan. Why not? But we're still pretty young. At least I think she is. Oh, they don't tell us her age. Huh. I wonder why they do that there. There's no plot significance to her age whatsoever. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Alright, never mind. Well, there's nothing at those gravestones, but if you go around here, we can buy some magic keys. Now, now that's another game, viewers. But I do want to go around here to show you. Well, we got a little shop here that's inconvenient, but it's there. But anyway, if you talk to this guy, yeah, we can buy shortcakes. Nice fantasy star reference with the price there and the inconvenient location of the shop. Eventually, we will need to buy a shortcake, so if you wanted to do that now, you could, so you don't have to come back later to get it, but I'll just wait until later, because I don't want to clutter up my inventory, and I've got more important things to spend my money on anyway. But which side quest will we do first? The wrecked, the, the wreckage by Nalia, or the sandworm? Find out next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star 4. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.